Hi everybody, Holly Clear, social media advisor, trainer for Social Power Program. I am excited to welcome Julie Miller Davis to our Power Tribe today. Welcome, Julie. Hello. Julie thinks it's funny that I always call her Julie Miller Davis and everyone else calls her Julie Davis. But I know her by that name because that is her website, juliemillerdavis.com. True. And we are going to be talking to you guys today about getting unstuck. And I know some of the challenges that you have had in going through the social power program are related to the fact of there's all this fun activity that we can do in social media. There's all these activities that I need to, to do to prepare and plan and develop my editorial calendar and then actually post stuff. Well, it can become overwhelming and then that overwhelm turns into, I'm just not going to do it at all. So we don't want you to get stuck in the rut of not doing the work. That's what you guys have invested in as far as time and value and social media is supposed to be fun. So Julie is going to help us look at some things going on in your life that are distracting you from actually getting things done so we can get you unstuck and productive and efficient. So that way you're having fun with managing your online activities as well as being successful in your business. So Julie, that is such a challenge. <laughs> it is a challenge. And, um, the thing is that a lot of people are, are stuck or overwhelmed. Um, and they, they know the tips and tricks. They know what they need to do. They know how to, um, make changes and how they're attacking their days. But the fact is they're not doing it regardless of the fact that they know what to do. They're not doing it. And, um, and they might even, it's like starting a diet on Monday and being like, yeah, I'm all gun ho I'm going to do it on Monday, starting Monday. I'm going to manage my list, my to-do list and all these other sticky notes and everything. And then by the next Monday or by Wednesday or whatever, then it's like all out the window. The diet is out the window. The, mm. you know, the management of things is out the window and it's, it's a universal issue, I think for people in business. Well, I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm, as you're talking, I'm looking at my planner, which I've gone through many of your trainings. I implement a lot of things into my calendar. I have to write stuff down. I know, surprise, right, everybody, I'm online and I use an online calendar, but I still write my stuff down and I give myself a certain amount of things that I have to do. But you know what? It turns into this. Yep. And then it becomes overwhelming. Those sticky notes move to the next page. And then what? Like, what gets actually done? And guys, there's so many, so many balls you can juggle in the air. Right. So um, what would you like me to tackle first? <laughs> well, let's talk about the, the fact that, I mean, there's, there's so many things that are, that are shinier and happier than what we're needing to get done right now, right? That's why things get put on sticky notes and lists become gargantuan and yeah. never ending. Yeah. And so um, what kind of, what, what recommendations do you have for getting over that hurdle? Is there, is there a step we can take? Is there, are there tips that we can incorporate? What well, would you I, recommend? I think the number one thing is um, prioritization. And I think that um, what it comes down to is deciding, number one, what are the most important things and the most unfun, unsexy, <laughs> most icky things that, things that you don't want to do that are going to take a while, that aren't easy or simple. Um, actually, I think a lot of what we do is simple. It's just not easy. Sorry, I'm having just an issue with my... It's just so you know, I have tiny ears, and when I wear headphones, it's really <laughs> hard to get them to stay in there. So I just want you to know what's happening. <laughs> My ears are like, they're so small. Um, so the number one thing, and um, in the, one, the book, The One Thing, Gary Keller talks about willpower and how we have a finite amount of willpower. It doesn't matter how strong we are, how much energy we have, we still have a finite amount of willpower. And so to tackle the hardest, most unfun, um, biggest things that are looming over you in the morning, first thing, because that, regardless of what your um, rhythms are, 
we still have the most willpower in the morning regardless. Yeah. So first thing, those are the things you need to tackle. And then we've got all those sticky note things. We have all these other things that need to get done that might not take very long. And those are the things you need to do when you feel like taking a nap <laughs> because they're mindless and they're fast and you can knock them off pretty fast. And we, a lot of times what happens is people are either trying to um, shove those in the cracks of their schedule or they're letting them take over because, oh, I can just do that really fast. And then by the end of the day, your stuff isn't done. Yeah. And the big stuff isn't done. And then you're like, oh crap, I still didn't send those emails. Oh gosh, I still didn't finish that blog. Oh man, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. And then they get moved to the next day. So if there's that place where things are a little slower in your day or where um, you get a little tired and funky instead of, um, well, first of all, get up and take a walk around the room and don't make yourself sit there because <laughs> getting up and getting a break gives you, gets you more productive. But secondly, tackle all those little things that you can knock off and check off really fast in, in that time of the day because it doesn't take a lot of energy and then you, but you do still feel like you're accomplishing stuff. Well, I think that's the biggest thing too, is feeling like you are actually accomplishing something. You know, um, everyone who's a part of the social power program is, is diving deep into the fact that they're having to find time to learn, having to find time to develop content mm -hmm. and having to find time to interact and engage with that content. And, you know, you, you and I both have people that manage our social media for us. Um, because we've implemented the do it, delegate it, delegate it dump it. it. And because we can either do it or if we're not doing it, we need to delegate it or we need to just get rid of it altogether. But for your online marketing, you can't abandon that relationship. No. So what I found is people are just struggling with time and prioritizing it. And when it comes to a situation of complete and total overwhelm, because it's not just a simple 15 minute task, then it's like, uh, I'm just going to move that and move it and continue and continue and continue. So yeah, I mean, it is, it is a challenge and we have to find value in those things, um, in order to keep them a priority and to prioritize effectively. So I'm, I'm really glad you brought that up, Holly, because here's, here's the thing you guys, we can't generally finish stuff in 15 minutes, big stuff. Social scheduling our social media, planning our social media, creating our me, you know, whatever it is that we're doing for social and interacting with our social, sharing it and and strategically posting in different places at different times. Um, but what you can do, what you do have, is 15 minutes a day. So um, it's time, it's time chunking, it's time blocking time chunking. I, I think of it as the small 15 to 20 minute segments time blocking in my definition is the 90 minute to two hour segment. So we generally, unless we really plan well, don't have a 90 minute to two hour segment. We just don't. And, but we do have 15 to 20 minute little chunks. And so if you could decide this big project of social media, um, what, like, what is it that needs to be done? Like decide, like plan it out. What needs to be done for the social media? If we're talking social media or, you know, whatever project it might be, but let's, for the sake of this group, let's talk social media. And then if you could say to yourself from 8.30 to 8.50 every day of the week, every day of the week, every week, guess what? 20 minutes a day, it's, it's an hour and 40 minutes a week if you're Monday through Friday. And if you're doing that consistently and it is a habit, it is just what you do at 8.30 or whatever time you choose, it's what you do. Just like you drink your cup of coffee or your tea when you wake up in the morning, just like you brush your teeth in the morning. Like it becomes this thing that you just do. Oh, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna work on this. It takes time, it's gonna take you a good month to two months to more to get that as your habit. But if you can, if you can decide that that is what you're going to do and you, and you use this group as your accountability, even a little bit, like then what happens is it becomes less overwhelming and it becomes less of a monster and less big. And it's like, I'm just biting it off 
and this is what I'm doing on Mondays, or this is what I'm doing on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and this is what I'm doing Thursday, Friday, or whatever, whatever it breaks up into for you. That makes it a very, very tangible approach. And I love that aspect. I love that, that mind shift change. And that's what it's all about is, is really changing the mindset, dumping the clutter, and committing to a routine, just like anything else. I mean, you know, you talk about diet, you talk about working out, you talk about anything in your life, even school just starting, right? Like now we have to get in this new routine. We have to wake up at this time in order to do this, that it's the same principles that eventually it just becomes a thing that's part of your day. Right. <clears throat> right. So that's really, really valuable. Um, Julie, I'm curious, Hi. so <laughs> so you have an accountability group as well that helps people to really break through some of these barriers and implement some very specific tasks and programs so that way they can build these routines. Let's talk about what that looks like. Yeah, so if you ever hear me talk or have heard me talk, part of what I say is I'm a productivity and efficiency expert. I help business owners reset their patterns so that they can exist in a level of excellence instead of mediocrity, right? And so I wanted to put together something um, that helped to help people do that with this accountability, place of accountability, they get training and then they make a plan and they implement and then we check in. And so at the beginning of 2018 is when that all started to happen and it's called unstuck the community and being stuck can mean very many different things if um if any of you follow me you'll know i've been doing a whole series on what 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 makes you stuck um or what does stuck mean or how do you get unstuck and so unstuck the community is a monthly training and connection group so i train for about half of an half of an hour half of an hour how very formal of me. <laughs> <laughs> it's very English of you. <laughs> I train for a half an hour and then we spend about 20 to 30 minutes where the group breaks into rooms and they problem solve through what they're stuck on basically. And they come and then we come back for the last um, five to 10 minutes and people say what maybe a big aha was from either the training or, and the training also, you guys, it's not me sitting here talking to you, like at you for 30 minutes. It's very, what's coming up for you? What does this make you think about? And it's very interactive. I, 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 I've been having some feedback that people are like, well, I don't want to be trained for an hour. I'm like, well, I'm not training for an hour. That's not how I operate. So it's training, interacting, brainstorming, working through things with the group, coming back, saying what is your aha. And then the great thing is you make a plan. You're writing on this paper, like, what do you want to do? Who's going to help you? When are you going to do that? And then the next week after the training is a Q&A where it's a check-in. How's it going? What questions do you have? What are you up against? And we work through that and it's Q&A for an hour. And Sometimes people pop in and pop out. Sometimes they're the whole time and sometimes nobody's there, but I kind of check in and we'll <laughs> chat a little bit and then I'll, I'll, um, I'll just kind of hang out for the hour in case people pop in and out. That's cool. Yeah. I like that and format, it's, especially because I don't know if people know this about you, but you were a, a teacher. I was. Yes. And the, the value behind that is the fact that you know how people learn and you can communicate at a pace and speed that makes sense for them. And the fact that you are able to correlate a message <clears throat> and retranslate it so that people can understand and grasp that fact and, um, <clears throat> or that task. And so that's, that's huge. That's huge to be able to look into the, the environment of the people who are present and communicate in a way that makes sense for them and be accountable. accountable. It's awesome. So you guys definitely check out unstuck the community on juliemillerdavis.com and it's very affordable and it's it's a different definitely a different format than what we've got set up here it's beautiful um how she's got it set up so check it out it's very very valuable are you are you running any special promotions for that program I am. Right now? there is a um by I always say it wrong. Buy two months, get, I'm like, buy three months, get two. What a bargain. <laughs> <laughs> it's offset. <laughs> you can invest for two months and get three. So you have the ability to try it on. 
before you fully invest in a year or, or whatever it is you decide to do. So for a hundred bucks, you yeah. get basically six hours of me for a hundred bucks and of the community. So that put, that gives you access to every training that I've done this entire year. So that's what month is it? September. That's eight trainings that I've done. And, and the Q and A's, some of the Q and A's have been recorded. Some haven't because it just depended on who showed up on if anybody showed up. Um, and at the beginning people didn't, but now we've got, we've got some really good rhythm with it. And you have, you have access to all the downloadables that go with the trainings for that hundred bucks, three months. Why not boost your fourth quarter for a hundred bucks? And that's the thing. It doesn't matter what season you're watching this video that, um, planning ahead, mm -hmm. you know, Katie, <clears> Katie <throat> talks, yes. <laughs> Katie <laughs> talks a lot about, um, what you're doing now sets you up for three months from now. And it's true at you being productive now, actually getting things done, resituating your calendar and how you're prioritizing things are going to set you up for next week, next month, next quarter. And it's imperative you guys to have that accountability and get set up because I can tell you this thing happens even when we know how it works and I live and breathe Julie's methods and she holds me accountable all the time. She's actually talked to me before and said, so how are you doing with those sticky notes? <laughs> and you know, it's just a thing. So those things tend to creep back in when we get comfortable and we've got to get ourselves out of comfort zone into productivity mode and igniting out of unstuck or getting unstuck. And so, gosh, Julie, thank you so much. This is so thank valuable. You. Thank you for having me, Holly. Yes. I'm going to be posting this in the group and I would love for you to ask the group a challenging question. So think about what that might look like. And if you're watching this, let's engage on the Facebook group and talk about some of the challenges that you have with getting things done. Because you know what? I talk to people every day who are like, oh, I'm so doing this for my clients. And Oh, but wait a second. I got to do something for me. Yeah. That's getting put on the back burner. Let's stop putting things on the back burner and start getting all of it situated. So you guys, let's have a successful season and cheers to everything in your life being awesome. And thank you, Julie Miller Davis for joining me. I appreciate you so much. Love you, Holly. Me too. Thank you. Cheers, my friends. Have a great day.